all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today i have five level 300s here on the blue team and five level 200s on the orange team and we're gonna see if level actually matters all of the ranks of these players are different we've got some high ranks we've got some low ranks but the levels are all consistent so we're gonna see if level actually matters in rainbow six siege if you guys want to play in these videos consider joining my discord server it's free the link is down below in the description remember to subscribe like the video if you enjoyed and let's hop straight into round number one all right here we go with round number one on chalet i decided to pick chalet because i feel like we always play oregon and clubhouse in these videos so i thought chalet would be nice to switch it up but let's see how these level 300s choose to attack the map now on paper the level 300s should have quite a bit more experience to actually win this game compared to the level 200s but so far as you can see we've got a lot of players solo pushing right now z-man's trying to push inside of mud right now you've got chunky on the yana already inside a library so we don't really have a set push going on but it's not going to matter because z-man is already going to grab a kill along with chunky cat who grabs two kills and now they're going to be trying to push in through piano right now troll patrol on the window trying to apply some pressure and let's look at the level 200s jay on the stairs to solar while the other jay is stuck inside of the closet on capkin right now one player was down but they're going to get rezzed that's chunky on 20 hp troll patrol going to repel in and honestly there's nothing that these two level 200 players can do to stop it Plant's going to be going down. Troll Patrol grabs a kill onto the cap. Good. And now it's all left to Jay on these solar stairs. 40 seconds left to find the diffuser and actually defuse. He's going to impact the hatch, but that actually does damage Chunky a little bit, I believe. But he's going to drop and try to go for this kill. Nomad's coming around for it as well. And Chunky able to save the Nomad as she goes down. Pretty much a flawless round coming out from the level 300s. Pretty much what I expected to see, but I expected to see a little bit more coordination and more of an actual push. So we'll see what they do this next round. All right, you can see Atlas is trying to go for some spawn peaks here at the start of round number two. But unfortunately for the level 200s, all of the level 300s have checked all of the different spawn peaks and they have made it out alive. Now you can see that the level 200s did go to the downstair bomb site, which I think is going to be good for them. Not a bad lineup either. Troll Patrol going to be hitting some of these goo mines as they try to push in through Trench right now. They do have the ace, but he's going to be front side along with Chunky Cat. Trying to get this snowmobile wall open right now. So no real help for Troll Patrol, who's pushing the backside right now. Atlas going to grab a kill, and that's actually two kills for Atlas now. Z-Man and Chunky go down, and he's looking for a third. Atlas, can you grab it? Ace missing his shots and Atlas able to pick that kill up. Three players down for the level 300s. Pro Patrol able to refrag though as he's all the way back in trench still. And Nebula above trying to find this kill onto Jay who's above. But Smell going to find the kill to Troll Patrol. So Nebula the last remaining player is able to refrag onto Jay. 1v3 in a minute and 35 seconds left. Going to shoot with that goo mine and... Trying to bait out a player to swing him on the main stairs. Do have Legion playing there. Nebula flashing himself a little bit. Just trying to bait out a gunfight, but all of the level 200s are playing it smart. They're not trying to peek. They're just holding angles. And you can see that Smell is holding the back by Trench right now. It looks like Nebula might be trying to push this way as well. The hatch is actually open. This is a pretty good play for him actually is no one's holding that hatch it's gonna be smell on the back of these stairs and oh what a shot nebula is able to take him out atlas on low hp is coming over to pillar to swing he's got to be careful though he's about one shot legion trying to throw some, throw some goo mines out it's a nebula with 45 seconds it's going to be opening up that back boiler wall atlas rotating into the front side i believe he has the diffuser so Nebula's going to have to go for the kills if he wants to win this round. And 35 seconds left, he's going to have to do it quick. Legion on full HP definitely has the advantage in this site. But he's going to miss his shots. Nebula is able to do a little bit of damage, evening the playing field. And he's going to push it with the very nine. And there's the kill for Nebula. One more player to find. That's going to be Atlas with 15 seconds left. 
both players on low hp atlas is gonna shoot and reveal his position here comes the swing atlas will grab it a good 4k coming out from that level 200 player and we're gonna be tied up one to one now. all right interesting play coming out from jay crust on the pulse right now underneath in car garage he's gonna be hoping that some of these level 300 players are gonna be pushing towards solar but actually his direct counter iq is going to be pushing trench right now and i don't believe that pulse realizes this he's still on the scanner jay is somehow able to take out nebula though that's the iq he was just sitting close in wine cellar and well nebula got too greedy for that kill didn't drone out properly off screen troll patrol able to grab a kill on atlas that's the player who just clutched up for the level 200s the round before but smell able to grab one kill before getting traded out from chunky troll patrol still in the big window trying to find a kill onto this player inside of office that's going to be castle j cross going to get healed back up from the other j who is on the bottom of fireplace stairs right now but they need to make their way back to site because castle's the only one there and you can see that the level 300 players are starting to collapse on the site but here comes a flank j crust on the blue stairs trying to find this kill onto iana the other jay on dock pushing up fireplace stairs and i believe he's gonna find this kill right here but no the front door as well chunky's able to take him out but ace was also on the front door to help out and now it's all up to jay crust to try to get this flank he does have the pull scanner to try to deny the plant but no c4 and well, he's going to get taken out inside of bars. Chunky grabs a nice kill onto him. Troll Patrol is going to be downed inside of sight, but it's all left to the castle. Chunky takes him out. And round number three goes towards the level 300s. We're going to swap sides now. Two to one for the level 300s. All right, Troll Patrol going to take a lot of damage as he tries to spawn peek the front door with a 1x right now. And he's going to continue trying to do so, unable to do any damage onto the buck who originally was the one to put him down to about 25 HP. Now, Jay on the Yang going to be pushing underneath into the big garage right now. It looks like our level 200 players might be trying to do some form of a library take we've got a few of them outside library at the moment so jay is kind of a little bit out of place at the moment troll patrol shooting out that yana clone ensuring that they cannot drone library any further and here comes the warden with the 1.5 trying to find a kill onto the twitch player but he's gonna miss his shots and troll patrol finally being taken out as jay on the ying flanks up through the blue stairs c4 comes out though warden's able to refrag good kill by chunky and now yana that's jay inside of office as as well as atlas on the twitch both of these players trying to push in and take out chunky and they will do so that's going to be jay and the yana 1.5 versus 1.5 now nebula pushing up to potentially refrag but he's the smoke player he's got to go back to site he needs his gadgets and now jay taking out these capca traps trying to push up make his way towards the bomb site but i have to be careful though z-man throws a c4 out the piano window that's going to miss but buck on that bathroom window will take out the player on the level 300 team and now it's looking rough for these level 300s smoke grenades go out onto the piano window that's going to push the buck off z-man grabs a kill as ace opens up that wall beepers are going off z-man trying to find another frag as nebula gets ready for this castle barricade to be opened up that's atlas on it right now ace gonna be taken out as z-man grabs two big kills and now it's just nebula who's on the canine door pistol in hands will take out nebula patrol patrol from the grave will take him out with that capca trap and somehow the level 300s are able to win that round taking a look at the scoreboard we do have chunky on top eight and two and we do have atlas on top for the level 200s five and three all right round we're on round number five here and troll patrol is kind of in a precarious situation he's going to be getting droned out right now and there's a lot of different players trying to push on to him right now we're gonna get a bug and miss this kill by chunky onto jay crust unfortunate the yin goes down and nebula grabs another kill onto the ace player and 
Unfortunately, we had a UI bug for both of those kills. Shout out to Ubisoft for those ones. Now, Troll Patrol is still alive. I missed even what exactly happened, but two level 200 players are going to be down, and that's not what we want to see here. At least not if you're on the level 200 team, as they are down 3 to 1 right now. You can see that Jocko's trying to push up on the trench door and potentially get a refrag. Well, my's going to be close. That's Nebula. And oh, well, here we go. The firing squad is pushing up. The C4 goes out. That'll miss. Here comes the shotgun. That will not. Jocko goes down. Maverick's on the top of trench to refrag. And Van is going to push up, trying to find a kill as well as Alice is the last remaining player. Flashbangs go in. That's going to force the players to back off for only a moment as Z Man reswings, takes Atlas out. And that will be. GG on map number one. The level 300s are going to take it four to one. We're going to switch the map and switch the sides that the teams are starting on. And I'll see you guys in map number two. All right, here we go with round number one of Coastline here. Make sure you guys are watching this far into the video that you guys have liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And there it is, Z Man with the kill onto Jay. Starting us off with a big frag is. Atlas is going to refrag 4v4 right at the start of map number two here. These players definitely giving us a show, that is for sure. Two minutes, 30 seconds, plenty of time for these attackers to make a move. And as you can see, we've got the level 200 starting on attack this time. Level 300 starting on defense, which is the opposite of what we did for map number one. So we'll see if the score line is going to be drastically different here. I'm hoping it's going to be it's a new map that the level 200s requested. So we'll see what happens here. Buck's going to be opening up that hatch to drop down. And Amaru is rushing into sight right now. Grabs two big frags. And unfortunately, Nebula was just trailing behind too far to actually be able to flank. And there, there we go. Nebula is able to refrag, take out the Buck player. Atlas goes down as Doc is potentially able to down him there, I believe. And... Now, J Cross trying to go up through main lobby, up the white stairs as that Sophia. And here we go, though. Amaro still inside of sight. Gonna put Doc onto about one HP. Fortunately, he will be able to heal himself. And there it is. Nebula able to take out J Crust. No more Sophia. Atlas is still down. So it's all left to the Amaru. 1v2 here as he swings, trying to kill the Doc who's on base. And he'll actually grab that kill. Here comes Nebula on the swing. And. Wow, what a great flip coming out from Nebula to take out the Amaru and Alice actually able actually taking out himself. Unfortunate. It looks like he fell off the roof there. And well, either way, that's going to be round number one to the level 300s. You can see a spawn P coming out from Troll Patrol. He's trying to find a kill onto a player that spawned out by runes. I believe that's actually Ash. And there we go. Ash going to be put onto literally one hp good run out there from troll patrol able to take him down practically no hp now you can see that osa is going to be setting up their shield onto the service store and smoke grenades are being thrown out jay is going to be trying to swing into the site with that glass gadget nades are going to be thrown in and that's going to get stopped by the one disc but a second goes in and that might be able to take out that shield but another one, my disc able to stop that in a run out from the big window from Chunky will, will actually take out that glass player. Smell though, underneath the window, able to refrag, putting us in a 4v4. Nay going to get ripped. And because of that, that Thorn player going to back off. And well, Ash is still on 1 HP and Atlas just took a bunch more damage. So the blue team definitely has the advantage in terms of HP here, but a questionable decision coming out from the castle is he sprints at a Nosa shield and is able to be taken out by atlas they've got to be careful though his troll patrol is still on the penthouse window with a minute 30 seconds left he's got plenty of time to sit there and wait for the perfect moment to jump out you can see the atlas is going to rotate off and instead try to push the kitchen window with ash the breach charge going to go off and unfortunately for ash the frost will not be there in time for him to take him out but z-man is able to swing onto that window take the ash out and that is no longer a one hp player for the level 200s atlas on the kitchen window potentially trying to refrag nebula going to take out smell that that's your Iana down now j crust on the ying trying to push up towards kitchen door but troll patrol on the flank from cool vibes will take him out but 
another flank from atlas able to refrag and take the thorn player down now shield versus shield here as it's nebula and z-man versus atlas who's going to win this round both players aggressively trying to swing onto the osa player inside of sunrise you see the z-man's rotating into the hallway he's got eyes on the diffuser as well swings are coming out a little bit of damage onto nebula 20 seconds left though atlas does not have time to keep doing this all these players need to do on the level 300 team is sit and wait atlas knows that so he's going to pick up his shield and try to push forwards he saw that frost in the hallway but it's a tough gunfight for him as there's two players looking at him from different directions and unfortunately for atlas z-man's going to be able to take him out round number two goes to the level 300s what do you guys think is the experience here enough like is 100 levels really that big of a difference from 200 to 300 i did level 100s versus 200s before and it was not this one-sided and by the way the ranks believe it or not are actually slightly higher as an average on the level 200 team versus the level 300 team so is the pure experience what's happening here what do you guys think let me know down in the comments All right, not even one round yet for the level 200s here on Coastline. We're really going to want to see them win a round here if they want to continue to be in this match. But unfortunately, Jay is not going to help them with that start. He's going to be taken out on that Amaru very quickly into the round by Chunky and Captain taking loads amount of damage from the glass who's all the way out on this AC unit. And you can see Alibi is trying to swing as well. All of these players desperately trying to get a kill onto this glass player. Jay, though, already line scanning in inside of luggage right now. I can see the captain traps on the door going to slow him down, but he's got the suppressor. So, be able to sneakily take that out. And now I can see he's pushing up into the hallway. Echo is in 90 right now. He might be able to take him out. Here's the alibi player going down. Echo trying to trade some shots off right now, able to actually down at the lion. Now you can see that smell is in sight actually and Atlas is inside of Hall of Fame. He'll he'll grab a kill into Z-Man. Nebula finally taking that down player out. Ash inside of sight, desperately waiting for Glass to rotate in and try to plant. Atlas trying to cover his teammate that's in sight, but he's got to be worried about VIP. As you can see, Nebula is pushing in right now, trying to go for that flank. He's gonna grab those shots onto Atlas, and now it's a 3v2. These level 300s are holding on to this game tight. They want this match point. See, Chunky's going to be opening up the wall in this hallway, trying to grab a better angle into the bomb site. Smell still stuck on the big window, waiting for Glass to potentially help, but he's got to watch the flank. And here we go. Glass able to grab the kill into Nebula as he rotates and gets on cams directly in front of Glass. And well, Glass able to grab another kill as the Capcom player goes down. It's all up to Chunky in the 1v2. Smell still on low HP, but holding this angle towards the shield, ensuring that Chunky cannot rotate out. Glass gonna go for that plant. And now Chunky's gonna try to push into the site. Oryx dashing past the shots as Smell uses this opportunity to jump out of the window and grab a better angle. Chunky pushing deeper into theater, trying to find the angle onto the glass. A nade will come out, but it will miss somehow. Now, Ash invert repelling, just playing safe. As Chunky's gonna grab the kill on the glass, he has one HP. But Ash needs to be extremely careful here. He cannot swing unless he absolutely needs to. Fortunately, there's only 15 seconds left, meaning Chunky's going to have to start sticking this very, very soon. And there it is. Smell goes for that kill. And finally, the level 200s are going to win around here on Coastline, stopping the level 300s from going on to match point. Taking a look at the scoreboard, Nebula on top of the level 300s, 6 to 1. And Kin on top. For the orange team five to three see that chunky's going to be taking a little bit of damage but wow a quick peek one tap going on to atlas right now as chunky tries to pick up another kill onto these players spawn peeking him and alice a little upset that he died there but spawn peeking is spawn peeking and oh wow an aggressive push from the level 300s that's going to be z-man taking out smell alibi goes down you can see that these players are just pushing aggressively into the site right now. Troll Patrol grabs another kill on the Brava. And now, essentially, the level 300s have total site control. Taking a look at our last few players left. Jay flanking inside a luggage. He'll grab a kill on the Troll Patrol. And now, 
Thorn inside the hallway is going to grab a kill onto the Ash. These two level 200 players are trying to pull this back, but will they be able to do it? Nebula on the cool vibe stairs, struggling to take out this Thorn gadget. Z Man grabbing a kill onto the Thorn, and now it's all at the J who's below. He is pulsed. He's going to be trying to go for a C4 here. He's got one on the glass. The C4 goes out, but glass runs away. Unfortunate. He won't find that kill or any damage. And with no time and Nebula grabbing that final kill, that will be round number four going to the level 300s once again. And it looks like we might have a similar score line here. And by the way, this is a best of three. So if the level 300s win this game, it is GG's. Alice trying to go for this spawn peak. He might be able to grab this kill onto the player in ruins. That's going to be chunky, but he will not be able to. His Nebula rushes up the Kuka stairs and takes him out on that door. And looks like we might have another quick round from the level 300s. They're being very aggressive and really just trying to rush into the building, it seems, at this point. So they have such a lead. Jay bringing the mirror. That is going to help slow these players down. As you can see, Nebula is not able to just take the site as they're going to have to clear those mirrors first. But unfortunately, they're is no utility for the most part over in aqua and off or uh billard side so chunky's going to use that to his advantage ash charge the maestro and essentially just take the site now Catherine's going to take it out nebula on that big window able to take him out z-man grabbing another kill on the ram and you can see that chunky is taking the site going for these wall bangs but is unable to hit the thorn now the other level 300 players pushing in from vip Nebula finally able to get that kill onto the thorn and now it's all up to Jay who's below and Troll Patrol takes him down a flawless round from the level 300 so ladies and gentlemen that was level 300s versus level 200s I think it's safe to say that the experience difference is pretty huge so if you guys are looking to improve at Rainbow Six Siege the answer is to play more your rank is not a good indication of how skilled you actually are your time in the game and your experience is the ranks averaged higher for the level 200s but despite that they still lost ggs thank you to all these players for playing if you guys would like to play in these videos consider joining my discord server it's free the link is down below in the description consider joining six shot academy to come play ranked with me and other content creators as well but with that being said thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video